are Amazon Game Studios copyright striking videos that say negative things about New World? Now the answer to that is probably no but we have to be aware and we have to be cautious and we have to stand up because it appears that they have done a copyright strike claim on a fellow YouTuber called Video Game Data Bank and the reasons for that seem very questionable at best. Now one thing to note is I don't have any contacts to Amazon or anything like that otherwise I would have emailed them but what I have done is I've created a tweet which is just a simple question which says hey Amazon did you create this copyright strike against this youtuber and if so can you explain the reasons why you think it was valid now obviously as of right now there's been no reply to that if anything changes i will put that in the top pinned comment so let me very briefly explain the story video game data bank i'm just going to call data bank from now on though i have no personal connections with him i've never spoken to him or anything like that he made a video which showed that basically if you made lots of crafting materials that went above i think three levels of aptitude you basically never got the extra aptitude because it was capped in one craft for whatever reason I don't know why and he said that he lost I think like 40,000 worth of gold right not really a massive issue for most players but for him and I'm sure some players probably a big concern so he made a video that said hey players don't don't do this because it, it'll be a waste and what he also did was that he contacted Amazon customer services and he wanted basically to get his materials back because whilst the item itself was crafted the aptitude was sort of what he was going for and that was wasted in that exchange with the customer services he basically escalated his query and provided his video to them as well two hours later that video received a copyright strike by a company that's something like amazon services lcc something like that now there's more than a few reasons to believe that this is probably amazon if you want more information with this then i do point out uh, kira tv's video he probably does a better job explaining why it's actually probably legit and then we have the key issue which is it's either going to be malice or it's going to be incompetence and we don't necessarily know which one it is there's two phrases that spring to my mind here which is one never assigned to malice which can be more readily explained by incompetence and secondly one swallow does not a summer make however though this is not really like a swallow making a summer this is more like a nuclear warhead not making a war so is it likely that this is malice well i think the answer to that is no really the content of the video isn't that too controversial and i just don't think that amazon would look at this video and say this is the hill that we want to die on and really right now amazon's pr has been sort of doing a good job the game is sort of on the rise and then they go and sort of shoot themselves in the foot it wouldn't necessarily make sense for this to be intentional in that way and also the video is obviously fair use there's literally no reason to copyright strike it in any way shape or form so i would be very surprised if it's malice but it's also not a good indication if it's incompetent because i think we're probably going to get a response from them at some point but i I urge you all to like either go on my tweet, tweet them about yourself, do whatever, contact whoever you can, post about it in the forums, that kind of thing. We need to get an answer, but I suspect that if we do and when we do get an answer, that it's more likely to be that, oh, actually, there was some miscommunication. We thought this was an exploit. It's obviously not. We issued a copyright strike. We're sorry. Many apologies. I'm hoping what they're doing behind the scenes is actually contacting a video game data bank first, and he should possibly be the one who breaks that news, but I have no insider knowledge. I don't know anything that's going on. But for me, this is more likely going to be incompetence but this is not something you really want to play games with for video game data bank this is actually his livelihood you know he makes money he makes a living off youtube and this is not something that amazon really should be playing games with like having a level of incompetence where it's actually just bugs in the game we're all okay with that essentially yes it's problematic because we paid for the game and stuff like that but no like to mess with somebody's livelihood is a little bit more serious and i hope they like do something to resolve this relatively quickly i appreciate i'm not really adding much new information here or anything like that i just wanted to add my voice to this because it's such an important issue that i feel like we need to get a reply because you would have to start questioning whether or not it's even worth trying to grow a youtube channel if amazon are just gonna like snap their fingers and your channel could very easily be gone for reasons of well I don't know whatever this is so let's hope for a speedy resolution i will make an update in the pinned comment i might even do like a community post or something like that hopefully we can get the strike removed from uh, data bank i actually don't know if that if it works like that i don't know too much about the copyright strike claims myself but yeah this is just like a doubly bad thing one it would be bad at any other time but two it's a little bit bad now because it felt like the game was just getting to the point where it was going to be on the up and up the new updates were sort of working well you know they were communicating well with us and stuff like that so we need to get this resolved and hopefully it's resolved relatively quickly um i would normally say like this video but you can head over to uh, video game data banks video and go and like his but do have a most beautiful day goodbye